thank you. Feel free to keep sharing in the chat. We are yeah. going to be getting underway now with the actual call itself, but we're just, we're so excited to have you all here and see everyone's faces. Um, Terry and I have been planning planning this get together for, for a while and just, we've been so, so excited about it all happening. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run you through what the plan is, what we're going to be doing. Um, and you might be wondering who I am. I will we'll also share a little bit more about that as well. Um, many of you are from Terry's audience, which is amazing. We absolutely love that. Um, Terry's community and friends, which is cool. What um, what we will do, I'll just get Terry briefly uh, just to, yeah, open up um, and, and share a bit more about connection to me. Well, I just, I'm really excited to be here with all of you. And it's really cool to see so many people I know, and as well as people I, re I recognize your names. So I, I um, I've known Logan for a while now, and we've become really good friends and fellow collaborators. Uh, we're planning things to do together. I, I love the idea of his creative business accelerator program, and I will be jumping on as a participant myself because I've always kind of, uh, you know, had my own business going, but I, I really want to come to it uh, with a different perspective, one of maybe just having fun with business and it being a creative act like doing artwork. So that is something that Logan is amazing at. He's really an upbeat personality and very encouraging. And he's just, I don't know, his energy is so perfect. And I just, I'm so glad to introduce you to him. So how about we hear a little bit more about you now, Logan? I love it. It's so fun. And and look, I think uh, Terry and I, um, you know, we connected a while ago. And I was, first thing I was going to say is we got to hang out in Kansas City um, a few months ago, which was awesome. So so we had the, this really um, great time hanging out in Kansas City. I do travel quite a bit. I am actually in Portugal right now, by the way. I, I don't know if I saw if anyone's in Portugal, but I'm based here for a, a couple of months, which is great. So now, first of all, you'll catch by my accent. Uh, I'm a New Zealander, a Kiwi. Um, and Often I do spend half of my time based in New Zealand and then half of my time abroad. I spend quite a bit, lot of time in the States and in Europe. So I'm going to share just a little bit of more of um, my journey and just so you can have a bit of background around that as well. My, my background um, is that I had my own creative business for 11 years in the entertainment space. So a very interesting space to be in, creative visual entertainment performers, characters. Um, we've got an amazing character. We had an amazing character called Mirror Man, a human disco ball. I've got to get my pronunciation of that one right. Fire dancers, glow dancers, quite weird, wacky and out there stuff in the visual space. A lot of costume, a lot of dance, um, which was amazing. So that was my creative background as I, I had that business for 11 years. Before that, I actually did a, a business master's. Um, so I'm kind of in the space where I'm really passionate about both business and art and, and creativity. And, you know, that's something that I really see that, you know, business itself, in, in my eyes, is very much a creative process, bringing ideas to life through, through using business, but also actually, you know, how can we use the tools of business to spread our art, spread our joy to the world and to other people as, um, as well. So, look, what, what we're going to be doing um, today is obviously sharing a bit more about um, some of the things Terry and I are working on, um, particularly a bit about this accelerator program. You might have seen that in the, the email um, or on Instagram that we've talked about. Um, look, I, I love building community. That that's sort of often means something that I've really resonated with throughout my life, um, through through my own original business in New Zealand, um, and then even with what I'm doing now. And these days, I very much focus on working with visual creatives, right? So that that is very much my space. I love working with visual creatives. Um, a lot of people I work with: graphic designers, illustrators, fine artists, muralists, um, and all sorts of exceptions as well. Um, I, I tend to work with people in three ways, retreats, I would do one-on-one -on -one coaching and then run group programs. So that's kind of my area. Obviously, there's always lots more to hear. Um, you could probably tell I do enjoy traveling as well, hence um, in Portugal right now. I love uh, setting up different bases in different places, getting to travel, connect with other people. Um, often I do travel with a group of friends as well who are, who are um, you know, in the creative space, they have their own businesses doing interesting things too as well. So I'm really going to briefly run you through um, the plan for today. I've shared a bit more about myself, which was lovely. What we also want to be able to do is obviously get to know you all a bit more. And so feel free to use the chat. Okay, so for some of you, some of you may not have used Zoom too much, and that's totally fine. 
I'll just kind of mention, you can play around with the settings. So see the top right there, there's a view. If you want it to be rather on gallery, you can have it on speaker setting. If you want to just see Terry or I really clearly um, while we're speaking, but up to you how you set that up as well. Um, we use the chat, honestly, interact. You can add things in there. Towards the end of the session, what we're going to do is we're going to be having time for questions because we, we want to hear what what, do, what would you like to know? And there's kind of, it can be about anything. It can be asking about our creative business experiences. You might have a specific question. Those of you that already perhaps have a business or you're looking, or maybe thinking about starting, you might have a, a business, you know, a business related question. We're happy to jump in and, and answer those as well. Or obviously if it's about some of the things we're talking about um, the accelerator program and things like that as well. Um, towards the end, you know, we're gonna really be making time for that, which would be really good. Now, just before we move on, I wanted to kind of acknowledge like, it's kind of, we're on Zoom here. You're like, who's this Kiwi guy? Who, who is he? What's happening here? Why am I here? Some of you might have just gone, cool. I've heard there's a Zoom thing. I'm not really sure why I'm here. That's okay, because there's probably other people who feel the same way. We're here to hang out. And like Terry and I were saying just before the call, we were like, oh, you know, it's possible that no one will turn up. And we were like, well, that's okay. We'll get to hang out for an hour, which we love doing as well. We do, do it all the time. Um, we, we've been on lots of calls, haven't we, Terry? In the last the last few weeks, it's been great. Yes. <laughs> so, just, I, like I said, Logan, every time I talk to him, I just feel so uplifted that, yeah, it's just so great to be here. I think, and, um, I, yeah, yeah, it's great. And, and, and like, isn't that funny though? Like we sometimes come on a call or come on something like this and we're like, why are we here? What, what are we getting from this? Right, it can be like a bit scary, a bit intimidating. Don't, don't you know what I mean? Yeah, it, 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 well, it always, I always feel that way when I get on a Zoom call. I think, what the heck am I doing here? You know, I, I, I do really want to mention one of the big things for me here is that I, I always looked at business as a bad word. I, you know, I, I love doing my art, I love creating and, you know, making videos and doing different things. But I, I always kind of saw business as a bad word or a must do in order to be able to be as successful in, with my art and make a living. So Logan has such an uh, interesting, joyful perspective on the whole thing that I just feel as though I, I, you know, I really can't wait to hang out with him in his program. And uh, I just thought maybe some of you might enjoy that approach as well. Maybe you have some some hesitancy towards business or just need more information about it and would love to go at it in a more creative way. So I just wanted to throw that in about why I'm here and why I'm participating. I love it. Thanks so much, Terry. And I think, you know, I, I talked to a lot of my clients about this is like quite a few of my clients and, and you know, we, we can feel like business is this like icky word, right? We're marketing sales, like we, we think about someone trying to sell us a you know, a $5,000 vacuum cleaner that we don't need, or maybe a, a used Hi. car. That's sometimes what we think about. And we have those sort of, those, those visions within what that actually can mean. But actually what I share and, and often talk about and Terry and I speak about is that it can be about sharing, right? So it's actually really about sharing what you're doing, sharing your creativity using the tools of this thing called business, which is really, a, it's a creative process in itself. So yes, uh, business can be a big bad word, absolutely, but but there's also versions of it that can be really amazing, sharing what you're doing. Um, you know, I think the, the word sales should be rebranded to um, sharing, right? So um, yes, when definitely. done right, when done right. <laughs> yes, correctly, <laughs> that's correct. So, I, I always think of it that way when I'm when I'm sharing around my artwork. I, I the, well, the idea of sales and marketing just in general, uh, you know, I'm learning to hear those words differently, <laughs> but uh, I'm really happy that you're going to be sharing a lot about that in the program. Absolutely. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run you all through really quickly what this program is about. So some of you might be like, oh, we've, I've heard a little bit of something. I'm not quite sure. Um, there's been something mentioned is this for me what is it we're going to keep it quite brief because we really want to get onto the question section as well if you do have some questions or some ideas feel free to just fire them into the chat now because we can always come back to them later to come back to the questions or you can write them down so when that question time comes you can can be asking them whether it's about the accelerator program itself or just general business questions too so what i want to do is i'm going to really run through quite quickly um, what this creative business accelerator is all about 
Um, so this program, it's something that um, I've been running for a couple of years and it is a live program. When I say live, I mean live on Zoom, just like here. So it's got a, a similar feel where I'm um, running workshops every week to the group of attendees that join. So it is a program that people pay to join, but it's something that what we, what we do is we're really taking people through the creative business process. It's designed for people who are quite early stage. So um, to be honest, uh, about a third of the people that join this, this program never started a business before, don't know where to start, they're worried about it, they're, they're, is this for me? Others, are uh, maybe they've already started doing, doing a little bit of the business stuff, maybe they're already you know, making some products, maybe they, they have got some, some clients, which is really cool. Then what we have after that is people who are further along, right? So they're more advanced, they've been doing this for a while, they want to connect with the community element and also perhaps learn a bit more about business along the way um, as well. So I'm going to break it down and just tell you what it looks like. It's an eight-week program. It starts on the 8th of November. So that's our next program that um, we are running. And this program, I'm going to run you through each of the weeks because it's actually broken up into eight weeks of different, um, different content, right? Different things that... Um, people want to learn and for creative business and this is designed for creatives for visual creatives I should say even specifically I, I sort of saw this this need where there's these sort of business programs and a lot of people in the creative space were like oh I've done some business programs and it was really businessy it was like not really designed for creatives for artists so I went wow I would really love to use my my skills and expertise I've been sharing and, and educating for quite a while had my own experiences in business creative business that I could share so therefore created this this um, program around that so I'm gonna I've got a piece of paper here that I'm gonna be running through I know I'll fire through it but it's just because I do want to make time for other things as well this call you'll probably notice is recorded and that's because some people couldn't make the call today and they really want to be able to see that so what we will be doing is basically, you know, having that, that call available so that they can see it. And you can watch it again, too. If you're like, oh, what was he talking about again? You can, you know, come to this part here as well. So, look, the Creative Business Accelerator runs for eight weeks, means it takes us right till the end of the year. Um, luckily, there's no calls on, uh, on Christmas or New Year's, so, so we all get that off. But it's designed, it's a part-time program. So there's a 90-minute call um, every Tuesday. Now, there's usually two call times that you can choose from to match people who are in different parts of the world. Week one, what we plan, what we do is we get into needs and goals. All right, so a big thing I've identified and seen is people struggle to understand what, what goals, what, what could they be doing, what would their plan look like? So we really spend that first week really zoning into that part. What is it you want? What could you get? What is possible to achieve? And look, that could be goals from what you want to create, what you want to grow. Maybe you want to build your first website. Maybe you just want to sell something to someone. Maybe maybe it's a, it's a number. Maybe you're saying, hey, I'd love to turn this into a full-time thing. Or I'd love to grow, grow what I'm already doing. And maybe it's leave my day job and do this full-time. Or maybe you are already doing it full-time and you want to grow. That's totally okay. Everyone's at different points. Some people are just starting out and that's okay as well. Week two, what we do is we jump into the business fundamentals. This is kind of, we talk about, it's the boring stuff, but as you can see, <laughs> interactivity, um, we put a bunch of fun into it as well. So yes, it's, it's we talk about the legal, the accounting, the finance, a bunch of those things there that sound like, Ugh, but what we do is we take you through it in a 90 minute session. And really what it means is we kind of get that stuff and we make sure you're doing it right. There's a lot of fear that I see that people have, especially in, in creative business of like getting things wrong, right? We don't want to stuff up and get a tax bill for a huge amount this is really about putting those fundamental things in place um putting some systems around so you can focus more on the creative side and on the parts that you love as well moving into week three week three is actually one of my favorites we talk all about um products and services what are the things you could be offering and doing is it is it commissions is it that you're a graphic designer is it you're an illustrator are you going to be doing some teaching stuff and I really help you sort of flesh out those ideas. Um, I sort of use funny terms like bread and butter. What's the bread and butter in your business and um, your creative business? The, the thing that you would love to do the most of. Um, th uh, there's other things as well. What's your premium offer? What's this thing that you love doing and would love to put lots of time into for someone as well? So I really take you through some of these really cool models that you can think about as well. Week four, uh, it's kind of like, oh, here's another boring week. It's about business model and numbers and financial plan. And everyone 
everyone that joins the accelerator goes, oh no, that week, week, oh, that week there looks terrible. And it's amazing because everyone shares afterwards that was one of their favorite weeks, which is amazing because most most people that join, they're like, oh, I don't, I don't like that stuff. But I take them through it in a very creative way um, and also just make it very easy for them to understand, you know, the, the numbers part of, of business, of creative business as well. Um, week five, I, I sometimes feel in the program like I'm like really fun week, really hard week, but it's still good, you know, and then back to fun week again. Um, week five is pricing. So this is something that almost everyone I speak to struggles with. How do we put prices on what we do? Because we're like valuing our art, we're valuing our creativity. There's a whole lot of stuff that comes up there for all of us and how we value our time, how we value, you know, what we're creating. So I really take you through a lot of those things um, for creatives, what we can think about around it. How can you price your work? What are the key things you need to think of? How do we focus on value, value of what we're sharing rather than just like our time? Our time is important, but also we've got to think about what is the value as well. Now, um, week six, social media, right? Uh, Social media, I think everyone loves and hates at the same time. It's an amazing tool that you can use because it's generally free. Yes, you can spend money on it. It's an amazing free tool, but we're all frustrated with it because these algorithm things keep changing. We don't know what's going on. Um, and we're, we're always wanting to learn and upgrade in the area. So I, I take you through that, um, you know, to get you really thinking about that and keep it really actionable. And that's something this whole course I don't like just sitting here and, and filling people up with information. I think it's good. We need to learn. We need to you know, take things forward. It's also about what are the actions that you need to take to actually take these ideas further as well. So it's quite an action-driven course. Um, and obviously, we use, we use there's a lot of interactivity. The chat throughout, we're always um, addressing too. Um, final two weeks, week seven, partnerships. And I think Terry and I is a really good example of, of building partnerships. I'm, I love to build partnerships in um, what I'm doing in my, in my um, creative business because it's about partnering up with other people. We might not have employees or other people or we don't have work colleagues, right? So actually, it's about building partnerships with other people that can help you to grow what you're doing. So, you know, maybe it grows your following and it allows you to do these other things. But also, me and Terry get to hang out right? So we get to hang out and talk about these ideas as well. And we'll sort of share along this call some of the other things that we're thinking about doing or, or planning on doing already um, outside of, of obviously Terry jumping on board and um, joining in with the program as a participant as well. Um, final week, week eight, uh, marketing marketing and sales, right? So uh, marketing and sales for creatives, I should say. So, marketing <laughs> and sharing. And, and right, so, so Terry and I have been like, Terry was like, I think we, I think you need to rename that week. And so I'm like, hmm, okay, I need to think about that one. Look, it's it's really about, um, you know, how can we grow what we're doing and share it with more people? The biggest challenge I see out there for people who are starting out with their their creative business or trying to get started or even further along, not enough people know they exist. I see so much amazing creativity, amazing skills and abilities. And it blows me away, all the, all the amazing things I see. But people are going, oh, Logan, nobody knows I'm, I'm, I'm there. Nobody knows I exist, right? And that, and, and that is the biggest challenge. I think that's actually the biggest challenge in creative business is that, you know, it's, it's how do we get more people to hear about what we're doing? And that, that's essentially actually what marketing really is. It's sharing with more people. So we really take you through ways to do that because we've all got those, we've all got those voices that say, you know, when, when we're struggling to reach an audience or, or make those first sales, we go, maybe I'm not good enough at this. Maybe I'm, maybe my art's not that great. Maybe my creativity's not that great. Those are the voices we all have. What I see is that actually, it's just that people don't know you exist, all right? Maybe not the right people know you exist or the people that would be interested in what you're doing. So it's such a powerful part of it. Um, and just briefly before we move on, th those are the eight weeks. There's some other elements of it as well. We really weave in community too. I have these, these really cool things um, which we use, which is breakout rooms. Some of you might have experienced them on Zoom before. They're amazing. What it means is that during a call, I actually suddenly send you off to another another Zoom room and you're actually having a chat. You come off mute and you have a conversation with another creative. And maybe they're at a different stage, similar stage to you. Could be anywhere in the world from people that have joined the program. 
Um, so I absolutely love that, that you know, people can connect and have these conversations and usually we'll have you know, about six or seven minutes each call to share that once or twice um, during, the, during the workshop, which is really fun. And of course, we've got, we've got a Facebook group that people can join and, and connect with each other during the program. And we set people up with um, creative buddies on the program and other person that they, they can sort of talk to during the program work with and then of course we've got things like like the chat um here here as well so look I've, I've really just given you like a really quick run through of the program um during this as well and and look terry and i will be sharing um over the next week more info about this um also the links as well and i will post into the chat um at some point soon the link to the program so you can find out more info We've got a really fun um, video that I created um, for the last program, which I, I wear some silly red glasses during the program just to make it during the video and make it a bit fun as well. But look, but look, it's something that if you're early stage in your creative business or you're thinking about getting started and just don't know where to start, this is something that I would encourage you to look at. Obviously, it, it, it is a paid program, so it's an investment that you know people put, put forward money into. All that information is actually, it'll be on the link there as well. Um, if you've got any questions around the program itself, just, just fire them into the chat now. I might even be able to address them now, if not later on. Um, and, and I think just as we kind of move on um, here, I, I kind of wanted to know, and, and Terry and I talked about this, we thought it'd be really cool for Terry to share why is she joining this program? You know, what's she excited about? Because we were having a conversation about this program that I was working on. Um, and Terry was like, actually, I think I'd love to join and I'd love to invite my audience along. And, and I think maybe it'd be good for you to share that, Terry. Why are you joining this program? What are you excited about within this? Well, like I kind of mentioned before, I um, I have uh, I have background of thinking business is a bad word. I, um, that you know, money even is hard for me to even think about. You know, there's a lot of stuff that comes up around it, and 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 self worth. And you know, if any of you have ever watched my videos on YouTube, you can you know that I'm pretty transparent about my own inner critic and all the stuff that comes up. So the same thing happens with business. You know, I, can I do this? Am I good enough? You know, all the things that stop us. And this program is gonna really focus in on moving forward, even with that kind of stuff happening. It doesn't need to stop us. And I, I just love the idea that the, business can be seen as a, a creative act like painting that it can be just another one of those things like I do my a YouTube video uh, I do something for my creative business I do a painting it's all sort of this making something out of nothing and uh, I love that Logan can really focus in and tell us help us with how to do that successfully how to uh navigate the pitfalls, how to organize things. I mean, I was the one of the ones that had the huge surprise at the end of the year with the taxes because I did not have the knowledge around how to handle that, um, you know, in the in the past. So even though that, and that may appear to be a dry subject, I think that it would be really worthwhile. And I, I know Logan will make it as fun as he can. Uh, so what else about it? I don't know, just hanging out with all of you, you know, a big draw for me is to be able to meet everyone and to be participating with you and, and be in the breakout rooms and connect with it all. So yeah, I, I just think it's just going to be fun and I just can't wait. <laughs> so I hope to see you there. Uh, and just know too that Logan and I are going to be doing more things together. If this, if this program doesn't happen to be the right one for you at the time or whatever, just know we're going to be doing more things together, one of which is going to be retreats in Europe uh, next year. So I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to you, Logan. Awesome, thank you, Terry. I, th I think it's so great just for you to get your perspective on this because I know um, basically everyone here, you, you're, you, you're connected with Terry, right? So I'm just, you know, in a way, I'm this, this random new person you maybe never heard of. Maybe you've briefly heard Terry mention, you know, my name recently as well. Um, and really, we thought it'd be great to jump on a call and just share and connect. And as Terry said, this just might be a really cool way to connect Right, so you might find, oh, this program is really interesting. It's not where I'm at right now, um, but we're now connected, and but we want to be doing more things that help people as well. So you might find, okay, well, this is not the right thing for me, or maybe it is, and that's totally fine either way. So, so um, I think we, I think we're allowed to share that the retreats in May that we're planning. We haven't got yes. any more info than that, but we've we've done a lot of. Um, it is in Europe, so we're we're planning a, a May Europe retreat, and um, which we're super excited about, um, and. 
obviously we're going to be sharing more about that and probably about a month's time so if some of you that feel like oh that's really interesting keep an eye out for that too because terry and i are really excited about that i am um, so cool i i I'm, I'm it's great i so i just ran a retreat just recently with another um, amazing creative her name's cat coke um some of you may have heard of her and we ran a retreat in france um and it was just such a great way to connect with um people who were in the creative space wanting to grow what they were doing um, or wanting to really get started as well. So um, obviously it was, you know, in a beautiful place in the, in the, the countryside in France as well. So that's something that um, Terry and I are really Yummy excited about. Yummy food. Running together. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Fantastic. Hey, um, obviously we've got a few questions popping up in the chat. So we are going to shift into question time now. So um, look, there's pretty much an open, open deck here of, of um, put down questions. So it could be, accelerator i see there's some popped up around the accelerator i can definitely um share 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 those things as well as that general business ones creative ones um really what do you want to even if you want to know more about what what terry and i do in our perspectives um we would love to do that as well so um we're going to do that for about half an hour or so um or until, until we've got um we run out of time to talk about ideas and, and things so i'm going to jump into this first one here now and just share briefly a little bit about week four of the program and then I'm going to jump to this really interesting question around people maybe stealing your ideas because I think that's that's a hard one so um week four is is, is one of those weeks I, I talk about it's the it's the financial week so so I sometimes say hey this is about the week that is designed for people who hate math right <laughs> and I, sort of, I think that's kind of a fun thing but you know whether or not you a lot of people I speak to, you know, they, they really struggle with the numbers side of, of creative business. They're like, oh, and they really lean away from that. So it's really about, you know, I have this amazing template that I share um, on that. And I really help you to break it down and take you through. And you actually plug the numbers in at your end um, on this template I share with you. And then it helps you to understand what, what's possible. What does this look like? Could you actually earn enough, uh, you know, income from doing what you love to, do this full time or do it part time or what could that look like? It's it's kind of an, an interesting one because as I said, that's that's the week actually. I think everyone goes, oh, that's going to be a really tough one. Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but then afterwards they go, wow, I actually learned some really interesting things. Um, and I think the program, there's so many parts of the program that are, that are based on this idea of what I wish someone told me 11 years ago when I started my first creative business, right? I, you know, obviously I, I had my business masters at that time and, and I had had, I sort of been running some other businesses while I was at university as well, but that was, it was like, it was a roller coaster and, you know, creative business, all business can be a roller coaster, but I often, you know, part of why I built this program and a lot of the one-on-one -on -one coaching work I do with creatives is because I want to help them avoid the pitfalls that I've maybe struggled with over the years or I've seen other people struggle with. Um, and I think it should be fun along the way. So, you know, we, we think that's why, you know, even this call here, you, you'll notice that it's a bit informal as well because that's the style that Terry and I like. Um, you know, we like to be able to connect with people too. Cool. So yeah, pop anything in the chat if you've got any questions that come up. So, um, and I did, a few people did actually email through some questions um, when, when they signed in as well, um, when we announced this as well. So I can jump into some of those too. So um, could you address how big the chance is someone that will, is that someone will steal your idea? I found myself wanting to share it, but at the same time being afraid someone will use my illustrations, not sure if this is a relevant fear. So, so I think there's several things in this. And I think firstly, it, it, this is something that a lot of people worry about. I think that's firstly, you know, something that does come up for a lot of people. And I'll just kind of share a perspective and Terry might have something to add on to that as well from, from her work. She, she's, you know, thought about this space a lot too. Um, I think as well and my short answer is you need to grow what you're doing get it out there share with as many people as possible um, because otherwise no one's going to see it yes there's a possibility occasionally someone might take a design or something of yours and that's really tough and yes there's sometimes ways you can protect that or, or prevent that or, or yes but also if you're not sharing, then no one's going to see what you're creating. And it's kind of the same in, in all parts of, of, of business. I sometimes, people sometimes say to me, I've got this amazing idea, but I don't want to tell anyone. And then I talk to them two years later, I've still got that idea, but I, I'm, you know, and it's something that maybe they never do because the fear of maybe someone else doing something with it. But actually, of course, someone else is doing something with it. I, I kind of often say there's probably someone doing anything we can think up somewhere in the world, and that's okay that's totally okay because there's loads of abundance and opportunity in, in the world as well. Did you want to share some, some other thoughts around that Terry from, from what you've seen? Well, I just, I agree with you that, that we each have our own unique point of view. And even if 
someone else has done something similar, it's still not in your voice. It's still not in who you are and what you're bringing forth and sharing. And, and you know, I have had uh, quite a few pieces of my work taken and used on product and used the bug the heck out of me. I mean, I used to spend hours, all my creative time trying to track these things down. But what I've found over the years is that I, if, I, if it's something obvious, I can just send out a cease and desist letter or something like that, and it's easy, I'll do it. But I, I almost see it as just part of doing business, part of the creative, what happens creative you know, with the internet. It's the wild west. And it really doesn't take a whole lot of my energy anymore. I do what I can and I let it go. And then I make more art and I make, you know, I create more around my business. So it, it's just a, such a more healthy way to look at things. Uh, you know, I, I want to share with people. I don't want to be, you know, hiding in the closet with my work because I'm afraid of what might happen. Uh, it's so much better just to put it out there and, and then learn how to be with the repercussions of that at 99.9% .9 of which are good. And then you've got your 1% where you get to go, yeah, that happens and, you know, do what you can and move on. So I just keep creating more work and, and having fun with it. So that's, that's my two cents on that. I love that Terry. And, and, and I think, you know, as you know, I've both said, it's, it can be hard, right? You know, it's still, it still hurts. It's still frustrating. Part of it is you're moving on through that and going, okay, maybe there's something we can do, but then maybe it's moving on to create more as Terry said. And, you know, sometimes it's, yep, we do what we can, but sometimes it's just worth to, to move on and focus on creating and, and the, the, the joy, the part that we really enjoy as well. So, so look, um, keep adding things into the chat here, team. It's really great to see the ideas, the questions that are coming through as well. Um, I'm going to jump into some of these other questions here as well. So the first one there um, is, can you tell us about your morning routine uh, mini video course? So, so um, it's cool that you've come across this. So this is something that if you do sort of scour through the, the, the website that I sent you that I shared and the link that I shared of the course, um, you might have noticed uh, there's three different options to choose, right? You can do the course itself. If you then want to have some extra support, I do a one-on-one -on -one deep dive call with people, which is fantastic. About, I don't know, 20% of people decide to do that. And then um, there's always a number of people who want to do, it's, it's like the premium offer, which is basically more support. They want more of my one-on-one -on -one support during the program because the program's great. You know, it's me here sharing with, there could be, um, you know, maybe 15 or 20 people on each of the stream calls. Um, but they kind of want that extra personalized support. They've got really specific questions. They want that, 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 that support. They want my energy. So what we'll actually do is we'll have four one-on-one -on -one calls. Um, now, you've also noticed coming back to the, the mention there around the morning routine mini video is this it's kind of this other extra bonus thing, which is this thing about a morning routine. And I've got, I've got a couple of these really cool mini courses that are basically things I've recorded to help people on a really specific subject. And one of them is the mini morning routine course. Um, and basically what it is, it shares with you the morning routine that I've created and developed through learning from other people um, over the years. And you might be like, oh, that's kind of random, Logan, but it's because I see morning routines as a really powerful thing that can really help you go forward. You know, so look, I you know, talk everything from my, my yoga routine, like, what you know things to eat and, and the fact that you probably shouldn't wake up and just drink coffee straight away even though we all kind of do it have a big glass of water instead it's the simple stuff and and the reason for that is that i believe and and, and you know terry I, I'm, I'm sure you agree is wellness mindset health are all attached to what you're doing whether it's you know whether it's running your business or creating the art within your business these things are so inherently linked Right, so I often say, I say to my clients all the time, right, right, maybe how do we invest in your business right now? We invest in you. And maybe that looks like going and getting a massage. Maybe it looks like taking the day off, all right? So, so, you know, mindset, looking after yourself. You know, I'm not the sort of person that is like, right, do the thing, you've just got to hustle and you've got to get it done and all of that. It's like, well, no, actually, sometimes you've got to take a step back. Sometimes you've got to go, how can I look after my own wellness? because that's going to allow me to grow what I'm doing, grow my business, grow my creative creativity as well. Um, did you have any perspectives around that sort of wellness stuff you wanted to, to share, Terry? Well, I'm, I'm the one who gets up in the morning and I do drink a glass of water now, I must say, but I, I'm fully into the coffee. Um, I, I look at it uh, 
from a more, you know, one, one of my morning routines is I just, I get up and I do some quiet time. You can call it mindfulness. You can call it meditation. Just some time to be present and breathe and relax. And basically, you know, you get a good view of what what's ping-ponging around in your brain, but you're looking at it from a broader perspective. So it's not sucking you in, it's you, know, you can let it flow by. So that kind of stuff is really helpful to me. I also set a timer to go off every half hour with a bell just to, to bring me back to where I am. And so those are a couple of things that really help me in my day. Morning though, that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta have my coffee <laughs> before all else. No, I'm sorry, I do have water. <laughs> I've added that recently. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because, you know, sometimes people go like, well, wait a minute, what are, why are we talking about this stuff? And it's because we think these things are so linked, you know, and, and how we how we start our day, it's how we it's how we live our lives as well. And, you know, I, I love, I love, I've, you know, I've learned a lot from from Terry in our conversations and, and I love how she has this, this, this time of calm, time of calm that, that, you know, you have at the start of your day. I think it's really powerful. So... And yeah, we've got more coffee. I, I, by the way, I do love coffees. I love my soy mocha. And um, I think we've got maybe one Kiwi here. We say soy mocha in New Zealand. When I'm in the States, nobody knows what I'm ordering when I go to a cafe. A soy mocha. So I'm sorry. I don't know what you're saying. I am it's totally going to go get one of those. I'm going to go get one of those as soon as we get off here. <laughs> Thanks, Logan. And there we go. They're so good. <laughs> awesome. Hey, we've got um, a couple other questions popping up here, but feel free to add in, um, you know, once again, if you have more questions, just fire them into the chat there and we'll, we'll try and address them too. So um, we're just looking up through here. We've got a really great question here from Lindsay. Um, I want to know if you can build a successful and fun business with a full-time job and family. And, and I think this is a really cool question. Um, I'll give you the short answer. The short answer is yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> The long answer is probably more complicated. Look, I, I work, a lot of people that I work with, um, whether it's they join programs that I've done or I'm working with them one-on-one -on -one or they've come to retreats, is it is actually a large number of people um, that have a full-time job um, and they're wanting to build up their creative business. Um, it's something that, you know, with their creativity on the side um, and really perhaps turn it into a business. Now, most of them kind of want to grow it. So it means that they can leave that job and spend more time with, their family, their friends, maybe, you know, are focused on the art as well. Occasionally, I work with people who just say, Logan, I just want to do something on the side. I actually really enjoy my day job. You know, I just want to be able to create, but I want to be able to create more and I'd love to share more and, and maybe um, sell some of those things and, and create a re some revenue there. I think that'd be really cool. So, so part of it's deciding like what you would want to do. Um, and also, in terms of family, yep, absolutely. Some of these people have family as well. So I think the important thing here is that it's definitely possible. Does it make it harder? I think it does. Um, you know, there, there can be those challenges. But the thing to remember is that you can create your own version of this. So I think people sometimes think, oh, you know, to have a business, it means that I'm working, you know, 80 hour weeks and I'm never going to see my family and I'd have to, you know, quit my day job and, and all of that to make this work. That's an extreme example. There's everything in between. You know, there's people out there who just have a small thing that they have on the side. Maybe they're just bringing in a couple of extra hundred dollars here and there. And that is their creative business. And they love that. And maybe they do have, you know, a family they like to spend a lot of time with and, and their, their day job and their, those focuses. Part of it is really working out what you want. And you may not know what you want, right? And that's, that's often part of the journey that you're going on. And maybe you're, you're dipping your toes in. Quite a few people I work with, they go, well, I, I don't know, we'll see. Like, yeah, a dream is I would love to leave, leave my day job, but I don't know, one step at a time. I just want to kind of dip my toe in, learn something, learn a bit more about this, this business stuff. Um, you know, maybe just, just see, because we often don't know. We don't know how we're going to feel about even selling or, or doing this thing until we often do it. And I think that's a really important thing to sort of be aware of as well um, within that too. I think I do want to mention something here yeah. that it's incredible in in my experience, and I know Logan and I have talked about different experiences he had has had, where when you step forward into something new, you may not even know where you're going. I mean, you may not have an a idea about business. You may not have an idea about what you're going to create on your piece of paper today. But actually showing up there and just kind of leaning into whatever it is that's exciting you that's when you start to see the, the, the next step. And 
I've noticed that in business. I mean, there's so many things have opened up for me in my business just by moving forward with what was next on the list or what seemed like the next fun thing to do. Things would come up that I never even imagined would be something. I, I mean, I actually never thought it was a possibility or it was even in my wheelhouse. And then off I'm going in another direction. So it, it just starting in with something, uh, it's like art. You know, it, oftentimes you find out what it is as you go. And that the possibilities there uh, are always greater than anything I could have imagined. <laughs> because, you know, I, all I have is my past experience and I really want to open to what's possible that may not be anything I've ever thought of before. Mm, I love that. I think, um, you know, there's so much possibility here. And part of it is we don't know what that possibility is. This is why being yeah. able to see what others are doing and, and, and being able to understand what is possible is really good. Um, and, it, and to be honest, that's something that I, I, I really love about, you know, how Terry and I connect. We get to see what we're both focusing on and going, oh, that's kind of interesting. You're doing things that way and you're doing things that way. There we also get to share what other people around us each are doing as well, um, which is fantastic too. I love these questions popping through are just they're, they're such great questions. I hope everyone is enjoying sort of hearing our perspectives on them as well. Um, so Elaine, you've got this question here. How can you reach companies when you're just you? You're not a celebrity and you, you don't you don't ever have, you know, you don't ever have any contract um, with big companies. All right. So, so this is a very interesting um, question. A lot of people really struggle with this. And I think early on, as I see one of the biggest challenges is that people don't know you exist. Right, unless you, perhaps you are a celebrity. Maybe there's a celebrity on here who who does, but but you know this is one of the biggest challenges. Is you know how do you get those first stages um, out? And part of it is you go through those stages. So you know as cliche as it sounds, Instagram, social media, these are tools that you can use to start building that following. Even though it can take time, these are great tools. I know we get frustrated with them, but they are free, right? So I think that's a really important thing to remember. Is there's ways that you can share when you get started to, to really grow and connect with more people. And I'll just share a few other thoughts on the subject as well, because look, firstly, it's a massive subject with that. So, you know, well, we can probably almost run a whole, whole webinar on, on outreach, right? How do we connect with people? How do we take those steps forward? I just want to share a couple of other ideas. One of it is that people are often surprised at who they are connected to already in their own network that know other people, All right? So, so that's a really interesting point. You might, you might, not have people in your own network that are going to purchase your your art or your your what you're doing from you or your creativity from you you know you might be some people are like, oh, i don't you know, maybe your friends are some of your first customers and family and that's really cool they're supporting that or you might be like oh, i don't want to be i don't want to have you know do that i want to go beyond that often it might be who they know okay so so they might know people that you can then connect with and you can sort of grow your network that way um, so, so that's something to really think about when you step into the space, suddenly, you know, I, some of the calls I have with my one-on-one -on -one clients, they're, they're like, oh, you know, it's crazy. This person I was working with four years ago now has their own business and they've just contracted me to do some illustrations for their business. And I didn't even know that they did this, but when I, you know, started sharing on social media and started, you know, obviously built their website and connecting, suddenly people started showing up even within their network or they were getting referrals from that. So, you know, I think it is important that that early stage is hard. The final point I'll share on that is partnerships, right? So some, this is the reason why there's a week of this in the course, because I think it's such a great way to deal with that problem of you not being a celebrity. You know, people don't know you exist. Partner up with other people and you can share your audiences and you can also collaborate. And I think, you know, Terry and I, a really good example here is that, you know, Terry has, a much larger audience and following than I do, right? So we're able to partner up, but there's also things that I'm doing that she's not offering to her audience, and such as the accelerator, she's going, cool, you know, that's not a place that she she's um, focusing on, but absolutely we can kind of partner up on these things. And then of course, things like the retreat, we can partner up together as well, and we can bring out different exciting elements to that too. So, so once again, that's just an example of, a, how I've sort of built things and connect with people here. I wouldn't be on this call with all of you here because I, to be honest, I have a pretty small following online because I often work with people in small groups. I've done a lot of facilitation work, contract type work, um, and I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one type work, small groups. So, so it's just a different approach, but it's allowed me to sort of grow that way as well. Do you have anything you wanted to kind of add around that, that area of, of connecting or, or networking, outreach, things like that? Well, I, I just love connecting with everyone. And uh, I think that 
our connecting together has been a really amazing journey it, and it opened up so many possibilities for me just in business life as a friend friendships and I, I just you know I, I think that more of this is really important uh, in business just to connect with more people you know and find ways to do that that are that are re refreshing refill you know refilling encouraging and uh, you know whatever whatever you had to share around that I'm really interested in finding out mm. I love it and and, and I think uh, you, we've had so many great conversations around this which is going like oh you know it's it's about building connections it's about building friendships as well and and like you like Terry and I you know I've used this word partnerships Terry and I are like partnering up um, on different things the retreat's a great example we've partnered up on it actually we've just become friends and we want to hang out and do something cool together that's actually what it is because um you know we, we're like we'd, we'd spoken online quite a bit when we caught up in Kansas City a few months ago that was the first time we'd actually hung out in person right so we'd had a great connection online and we're like let's definitely catch up and we got a coffee and like it was like you know we talked for like three hours solid it was amazing and we just talked to each other and then we were like oh my goodness what's the time it's, time's just absolutely flown by um and, and that was really cool because actually i think that's my watch by the way talking to me telling me the time <laughs> which is hilarious <laughs> it often does that when i'm coaching so there we go um so so you know i think that's an important part of it as well you, you want to build something that you are excited about you want to connect with people and, and many of the people i work with you know what they're wanting to do is they want to do more of the work that they love with people they want to hang out with right so look some of the initial um, clients that you work with maybe they are a bit challenging but you work towards working with people you want to do the work with partnering up with the right people um and it's kind of part of it's having fun i mean part of this accelerator is having fun having a laugh along the way and you know there's always some great moments here at one point on the last program i had this giant stuffed um toy it was this big like crazy cushion banana and i was and i was sort of saying hey you know you've all done so well today so you get the smiling banana some of you might have seen seen a photo of that on some of my social media but you know it's it's you know how can we bring that fun to it as well awesome cool so look i do have a, a couple of questions here and the, the people had emailed in as well um if you've got more questions feel free to just add them into the the, the chat as well always more to share and more for us to talk about as well so look um i had a i think this question is kind of a, a big one someone asked and said hey they'd love to hear our perspectives of of what's really hard in business All right because i think from the outside business looks look running your own creative business it can look great right it looks fun there's people out there we're you know both both here and i are jumping online and we're sharing what we're up to we were here and we're like oh this is fun and we're having the blast and absolutely it is this question was really digging into but what, what's some of the hard stuff right and and i thought we could authentically share some of that um and you know there are challenges i think that's really important it's not all breezy we 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 love to we love to really focus on the joy and the great parts but there are some harder parts I've always seen those parts as an opportunity to learn, grow, and go through that journey, um, which I think helps give us that perspective of when things are a bit tough and you're not working, or you're experiencing difficulties, it's an opportunity to learn. Those of you that know, you know, kind of the hero's journey, right? The hero's journey is this challenge that we will go through. We learn, we go through these challenges, and then we take those challenges forward to help us ourselves grow. One of the biggest challenges I think I find um, and have found over the years of running businesses, I think, on and off for 15 years now um, one of the biggest challenges i've found is it's loneliness right you're a lot of people a lot of my clients and i'm both here and i as well you know we are it's just us in our business yes we've got family and friends around who sometimes they're hanging around they're supporting us but they don't really get it you know that's the reality is they don't really know what it means when we when we um sell something or when we have some more followers with what we're doing or we have a fun webinar like this and you know after this i'm going to be running around the house um all excited because you know i get a lot of energy from this but but it can be quite isolating as well because you're, you're coming up against challenges you don't necessarily have those workmates and also it, it can come down to your responsibility and if i just share what's helped me with that is community connecting building people around you who do get it so a big part of what i've done especially over the last kind of five years is i've surrounded myself with like-minded people it was a big driver of why i created i've got this retreat brand called volcano retreats which is about bringing awesome creative people together who have been in business for you know five plus years they want to connect they want to hang out with other like-minded people um, as well 
And to be honest, now I often travel. I had dinner with a bunch of these people in, in Lisbon here in Portugal um, last night, which was amazing. Um, it's building this connection and community around. It's, it's not always easy. And then it's also going, hey, what else can you put in place to support you? I have my, you know, yes, I'm a, a creative business coach. I actually have my own coach as well that I work with. He's based in the UK. He's an amazing guy I've been working with for years because I need that support too to help me work through things. Because yes, I've been doing this for a long time, but there's still challenges that pop up for all of us. Um, did you have a perspective on that? Maybe you could share as well, Terry, and kind of share what share with the group maybe some of the hard things or, or some of the things that you've experienced oh lots of lots of <laughs> challenges in my life uh that happen you know every other moment and so i i like to really use everything that comes up as a place to really open and allow and you know i i know that these things are going to come through and i do a lot of uh, present awareness around just remembering who I am, who we all are. And though our jobs are not who we are, our businesses are not who we are, our art isn't who we are. And so when the business or the art is going kind of wonky and all my inner critic starts going crazy, I can get it, I can step back from it and have a broader perspective and know that this is just something that's passing through. Uh, it is. It doesn't mean anything about me. So that's kind of the way I handle the seeming ups and downs of life. Uh, it, you know, I'm not taking it personally like I used to. Sometimes I do get caught up in it, uh, but I quickly step back and get the bigger view, and that really helps to not let it stop me not to bog me down or take things too seriously you know it's just having a sense of humor about it all but i do agree um, having a community to share with is really awesome i have a daily creating group that is there every day for me and and for each other it's just a really supportive community as well as you know sharing on instagram and uh my friends close to me here in Kansas City, and you know who you are. <laughs> we have one on the call. So, um, and I and I meet with people on Zoom uh, also, another person on the call today. And I just really enjoy talking back and forth about life's seeming challenges. I mean, some of them really are challenges, right? But coming together as a community and connecting with each other really helps to put the, a perspective on things so that we don't let those things stop us or drag us down. So that's kind of how uh, I see all that. I love it. I, uh, you know, we were kind of, when we we're on a call catching up the other day, Tara and I were saying, oh, you know, some of these things that we talk about, we were like, we, we need to share more of them as well to, to, you know, on calls like this too. So it's, it's so lovely to be able to like share some of these thoughts and, and things that we're experiencing and challenges we're, we're having in our own businesses. That, that's kind of why I'm, personally, I, I really love being able to do the business coaching thing because I'm able to share part of my journey with other people as well help them through some of those challenges i've been through so you know sometimes i get a message just saying hey just having a rough week just no motivation don't know what it is and we can kind of work through those things as well and and you know i can relate to that right and i think that's a big thing that you know terry and i see you know people that are getting started we, we know what they've been through because we've been through that ourselves we're still going through challenges in our own businesses all the time as well hey so just aware of time and Obviously, um, you know, we've got a couple other questions popping through as well um, that we'll try and jump into as well. What we may end up doing is just going a little bit over time um, and just answering, you know, a few more questions. If you need to leave right on the hour, depending on which hour that is where you are in the world, um, that's totally fine. Um, we, we totally understand that, but we might carry on for, you know, five or 10 minutes if there's some more questions pop through. You're welcome to stick around. Um, as well just before we do that i just want to briefly share just a little more about the accelerator you know it was really great to be able to share that all with you and things as well look if, if this is something that you are interested in and, and you've got some interest send through any questions you have you can message me or terry we're happy to answer them um within that and look i have a look at that website that i've shared with you what we'll do is we'll send you an email afterwards that you can just have a look at the info um, and go hey is this something that would help me to move, move forward with what where i'm at and look, what, what we kind of do is we thought it'd be really cool. People who are on this webinar, if you're excited and you feel like this is for you, we just want to do a little um, a little wee gift as well. We, we get a discount if you sign up in the next 24 hours. So 
it's, it's just a $30 discount for that. If you're, if you're feeling like you need more time and you're not sure, there's no pressure at all. It's just for if you know, you're feeling cool, this is exciting, let's do this, let's get underway. Um, it does start on the 8th of November. Um, also, this has just been a great opportunity to connect with you all. All right, so that's part of what we've wanted to do. So look, I'm just going to briefly share that. That's the link which just gives you that, that discounted rate. If you want that, we'll email it through as well. But as I said, don't feel like, okay, you know, is this, is this what it's about? It's going, no, this is, this is about connecting with you all because maybe there's someone here, maybe there's a handful of people here that are going to join us for the retreat. Um, Terry and I have got a bunch of other ideas that I'm like, no, we shouldn't share too many ideas yet. But, you know, we've got a few other things that we want to do together, um, particularly next year as well, to really help people, you know, move forward with their ideas, their creativity, and maybe start or grow their, their business if that's where they're at as well. Um, but either way, no matter where you're at, whenever we run webinars like this, come and hang out, right? Even if you're like, oh, they're, they're talking about the retreat. I can't make it to the retreat. Come and hang out because what we'll always try and do is we'll try and share We'll answer questions, we'll share ideas and tips, and we'll give you some perspective as well. So um, what we might do, Terry, we might just go on for five or 10 minutes, but that's the official end of this, this webinar, this get together. Hang out for another five or 10 minutes if you want to, but if you need to leave, feel free to put in the chat saying bye, or give us a wave, um, and then we'll, we'll carry on for now. So those, those of you that you need to leave. have to leave. <laughs> thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. It's been great to meet you. Awesome. I love that. What we'll do, um, Thank you, everyone that, that needs to leave. It's been fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll, I wanna add, we want to answer a few more of these questions. So we will stick around for a little bit. Um, so I see the one uh, there for me. Yeah, go for it. And I'm, and I'm going <laughs> to, I really want to be able to pronounce this name, W-I-E-S-J-E. -E. How would you pronounce that, Logan? Wiz, wiz, wiz G? Wiz G? Yeah. My team. Anyway, I, I just wanted to address that. I... I worked for a Hallmark for 30 years and I retired at the age of 59, which was five years ago. Is that right? Let me do the math. And the whole, uh, the last probably 10 years I was there, I was doing my side hustle, so to speak. I was not intentionally trying to build an extra business. I was doing what I love, to creating artwork and sharing it every day. And that started growing my social media accounts and people became interested in wanting to maybe purchase my artwork or, you know, prints or originals and all that sort of thing. So it developed kind of on its own because I stepped down and started sharing and creating daily. And the, uh, people found that inspiring. People wanted to possibly have a piece of artwork of their own. So uh, I was doing that uh, 10 years before I retired. And then it just, after I left, I carried on that business and and then, you know, YouTube happened and teaching happened and meeting Logan and connecting with all of you happened. So it, it's just been an ongoing process. I love it. It's so, so powerful. And, you know, I, I just love being able to hear parts of your journey, Terry. I think, you know, especially with, you know, that, that time that you spent with Hallmark and then and being going cool, really addressing and going cool, what do I want to do now? And, and really, you know, what you've created since that time as well. And as we keep creating as well, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> all sorts of possibilities. And you're never too old. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, um, I think that's such an important thing to remember. Uh, honestly, uh, people that join programs or that I work with or come to our retreats, all ages. Um, all ages. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah. Cool. So I want to dive into this question around social media because I think it's such a good question. Thank you, Ronnie. I, I think, um, you know, it's a big subject and a lot of people have a lot of challenges around it, right? It's, you know, how do we do this thing? How do we create social media for, for business? Um, you know, I post my work on Instagram, but I don't understand all the bells and whistles. I see how involved here and other artists are and it's really daunting. What's the best way to get started with social media? So, so first of all, you're not alone. A lot of people struggle with this. It's tough. And even people who have been doing this for a long time are very good at it have their daily struggles, right? I think that's the first thing to say. You know, even the people that look like they know what they're doing are also freaking out about this and trying to figure out what to post and, and how this is all working and what's this algorithm thing. And, you know, look, look there's something we, we delve into. This is why I spent a whole week on the course of this because it's such a great subject. I want to share a couple of um, tips and, and maybe Terry might have something to share on this too. Um, for me, um, social media, I, I see it as a tool. It's, it's a marketing tool that is free. And I think we, we need to acknowledge that. 
this this didn't used to exist, right? If you wanted to grow a, a business of some sort, if you wanted to grow a creative business, any sort of business, you had to spend a lot of money on marketing, right? We're in this amazing space where we can spend time and energy using these platforms that are essentially free, right? Yes, you can do ads and things like that, but actually there's a lot you can do, which we call, you know, it's organic, which means you, you can spend your time, your energy on that. Yes, it's hard. And there's things you need to consider what you're posting, who your audience is. And also there's this thing we talk about the algorithm. I go into this uh, quite a bit, is that this algorithm thing that we need to try and figure out what it wants and things like that, which can be really hard. But ultimately it's about sharing good quality content that that you, the people that you would love to share with, engage with. So, you know, part of it is figuring that out. In terms of growing it, it is hard. I think that's really important. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. One of them is video, right? So you might go, no, don't say video, Logan. Oh, I hate doing video. Video <laughs> is the highest performing part. And, you know, though many of you may know that already. Might be a few that are going, oh, okay, it wasn't too short. Reels is a type of video, short video. Um, those of you that know TikTok, it's competing with TikTok. When a new thing comes out on social media, like a, a new um, feature, such as, such as when Reels came out, Basically, if you use that feature, you get a lot more visibility, all right? So Reels, if you use Reels, you get more visibility. It means that you just getting on there and using it, you'll notice it. It's sharing with so many more people. Now, there's millions of ways to do Reels. It doesn't have to, you don't have to do a dance, kind of like the TikTok things. You don't, you don't necessarily have to, you know, there's some cool art reveals that people do. There's people talking. Look, there's lots of ways to do video. Um, and there's a lot of, you can do it yourself. Right. So, you know, I often say, look, explore what could work for you. I'm not saying it needs to be you or in your face. It could be getting creative. Explore what other people are doing in that space around using video. But video is kind of one of the, the fast talk track tools to grow your audience. Not the only way to do it. It's just it makes it a lot easier. Um, if you really hate it, really don't want to do it. I always say, see if you can just try and figure it out or maybe talk to some people, maybe learn from some other people that are doing it. But also, can you use social media without doing video? Yes, you can, right? So you can still do that, but it may be harder to grow. So um, that's kind of the main tip I'm going to share. Did you have any other sort of thoughts you wanted to share, Terry, around like social media and, and how I, you can use that? Well, I think uh, for me, consistency, uh, you know, creating, you know, get, showing people what you're doing pretty consistently, you know, t you know maybe once a day, uh, not more than two times a day, but just to keep people engaged. And plus it keeps me engaged when I'm, when I know I'm going to be sharing with people, it it's like my best friend, I'm going to, let's do this together. And we're going to, we're going to post and, uh, and staying engaged with those people that are engaged with what you're putting up. I, I love to answer all the comments that I get when I can. I mean, Instagram can be a bit tricky as far as seeing everything, but you know, staying engaged with your community. If someone says something to you or reaches out to you, comment back, like what, when they give you some hearts. Um, video has been really useful. And if you're one of those people that don't really like speaking on video, which was totally me just a few years ago, uh, like Logan said, just play with it. Get on there and just play with it. Don't, you know, no one has to see it. Just play with it yourself. You can also share videos around your creative process. I love to share, you know, myself that you actually painting or, um, you know, whatever it is I'm creating the day that day, I'll, I'll videotape it and speed it up and, and then share that. And that is always a big hit <laughs> with uh, audiences. So um, gonna, and then actually talking to Logan about doing more Facebook lives. So that I think is a really good place to play as well. Uh, that can be all no face video lives live to your audience. Uh, but, you know, even for, for me, I don't, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't underestimate your ability to embrace things you thought you would never do. And video was one of them for me. I, I it wasn't even, I, that was one of those things I thought I don't even like to have my picture taken. And then all of a sudden I found myself trying things on YouTube and then it became no big deal. And then it just kind of grew from there. But, you know, until I did it, it was not possible. It just wasn't possible. And so, you know, I had to step out and go ahead and just not take anything too seriously, <laughs> you know, just have fun with it and see what would happen. 
I hear you. And I, it reminds me about, we talked about, you know, experimentation, right? Experimentation in business. And, and I'll, I'll tell you something really briefly interesting. My first degree, I was a scientist. And people go like, what are you talking about, Logan? I did a, I did a genetics degree for four years, right? So you, you probably go, what did that, that came left field right at the end of the webinar. But so I often talk about like, I was experiment, you know, science is about trying, trying ideas, experimenting. I kind of take that, that mind process into, into business, into art, into creativity as well. And I think, you know, Terry and I speak about this a lot. Try things out, imperfect action. The first video you make is probably not going to be that good. And it's okay. Put it out, you know, make, obviously make sure it's not terrible, absolutely shocking, but you probably put it out there and you'll probably be surprised, right? You'll probably be surprised. Um, and then you'll improve, you'll get better. And then maybe at some point you you won't even know. And I think, you know, even when I scroll down you know, my feed and some of my social media early on, I was like, what was I thinking? Of? But I was learning, I was growing. And how did I get to what I'm doing now? Because I went through that process. You get out there, you do it, um, and people can be very supportive. So so look, what we're going to do, um, we, we will just um, briefly touch on that, that last question there, and then we will wrap up in the next um, few minutes. Let me say so too, um, brief, yep. briefly say, uh, as far as your feeds go, your Instagram, social, it, Facebook, whatever it is, particularly Instagram, it's really cool for people to be able to look back and see where you come from. So even, you know, it could be that you, you some of the things you have put on previously are things you're going, yeah, but what, what was I thinking? <laughs> but you know, that it was part of your journey and it was part of where you were at that point in your life. And it helps people to, to get to know you, to see where you've been, to, get, to give them some sense of encouragement around their own process and where they're going to as well. So yeah, uh, just have fun with it. Try things and make mistakes and try some more things. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's all about just having fun and learning as you go. It's an ongoing learning journey, which I absolutely love. So, so look, um, we've, we've just got one more question here. We'd, we'd just love to briefly mention on around, you know, some of the negativity you can deal with. So, so you know, ha have you experienced negativity? And, and this one's kind of directed around, um, you know, Terry and her art, her amazing cat art in particular. Um, you know, how, how do you how do you deal with that? How do you deal with when those challenging things can pop up? Maybe, maybe directed to you, Terry, um, when those things happen. I, I kind of have mentioned this on this on this call that I have a, a very fierce inner critic that is my constant companion. Most of the time it's, it's piping in and making comments about everything I do. So I've just learned how to navigate that in a different way. It doesn't take me down like it used to. I, I notice it. Sometimes I mess around with it for a while, but oftentimes it just goes through like any other transient thoughts. And I just don't believe what it's saying anymore. Like I used to just think everything that popped into my head was truth. And now I just know, oh yeah, well, that's, that's what I've learned as I've, you know, it's kind of a conditioning or habits of thought that I picked up as I was going along, who knows from where. And I don't, I don't need to believe them. You know, I, sometimes the art I make is not my favorite, but I don't, it, I don't take it personally like I used to. It doesn't mean anything about me. It's just a piece of art that I'm doing. And oftentimes when I am doing artwork, it surprises me. Like it, it isn't even anything I could have imagined that I would do. And I have the imposter syndrome coming up saying, that was a fluke. How could you have possibly done that? Or that'll never happen again, that kind of stuff. And that's just the stuff that I'm like, okay, that can just go on by. It, it's not something I need to engage with. I don't need to push it out of my head. I don't need to do anything with it at all. It just comes and goes on its own. So I hope that's kind of help, helping you to understand more about my own process with the negativity that comes up. Um, I have to see a little follow-up. Where are your cats, Terry? I miss seeing them. Me too. They're sleeping in the other room. I was really hoping somebody would join us here. Tucker. <laughs> you know, cats always come uh, when they're called. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
Hey, it's been amazing. We're, we're going to wrap up in the next minute or so, but just wanted to say it's, it's been really cool. It, honestly, the questions have been, have been really cool um, and really engaging to hear you know, what, what people are thinking about, where they're at with things as well, and, and just connecting with you all and, and sharing. You know, that, that's what both Karen and I love doing. So, so you know, I'm sure there'll be opportunities to connect, whether you join in the program um, with us or, or whether we're connecting down the track as well. Um, we will be doing you know, some more things like this occasionally as well. Um, I'm sure we'll probably do a webinar or something to, to talk more about the France retreat at some point. I'm sorry, the, there we go. It's not actually in France, but <laughs> <laughs> it is in Maybe France. Maybe it is okay, in France. Okay. <laughs> I think we can say that. We've said that now. So we are running okay. a retreat in France in May. It's, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And any um, of you that might have joined late, I just wanted to let you know that it, um, we will be sharing the recording. So not to worry if you missed anything. Absolutely. Fantastic. I don't know if you hey. want to share one more time in the chat uh, with the link. Yeah, I will do that. And find out more. Um, and also, team, what we'd love for you to do, if you're just about to leave, if you can just share just something in the chat, how you're feeling, maybe what you learned today or what your experience was, a comment around how this was for you and, and that maybe just before you leave. Um, and then we'll, we'll say goodbye. I'll, I'll just share in the chat there again. So that's the link about the um, accelerator program as well um, within that. So, so feel free to share something in the chat, just sharing your experience for today um, and then even saying goodbye as well. So it's been really cool. This has been a great way. It is actually my evening. I know we're all in different parts of the world as well. There'll be some people here that it's their morning, afternoon, evening. Um, thank you so much. I learned that I don't have it all together and never too old. Absolutely. I, I think that's a really great takeaway there as well um, within that. Awesome team. Should we wrap it up there, Terry? It was amazing. Yes. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us. And I really look forward to connecting with you all again really soon, whether it's in the program, some other kind of Zoom call we do, maybe the France retreat, you know, anything like that. So I, I will talk to you all soon. Awesome. Thank Take care, everyone. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Take care. Thank you so much Bye. for joining in. See you. Take care.